Oh, hey, Crestwood. Just caught me reading a good book. Oh, you don't read books? Curious. Cash. Reading's for nerds. Really? Why do you read? To learn stuff. Huh. Why do you learn stuff? To make better decisions. Curious. So by that logic, you don't like making better decisions, so you don't read. And if you don't make better decisions, wouldn't you make worse decisions? Hmm. Something to think about, huh? So I think we need to take a second and just talk a little bit about learning on your own. Um, there's a saying that I hear quite a bit, and uh, it goes, readers are leaders. Now stop and think about that. Now, you might not subscribe to that, and you might not buy into it, but readers are leaders. Basically, what that's saying is, if you read and gather information, you're more likely to lead. And I've heard the statistic that the average CEO reads 60 books a year, whereas the average line worker might not read 60 books in a lifetime. So I'm not trying to suggest that you need to be a bookworm, or that you need to read through 60 books a year, or, uh, you know, maybe even some of you, 60 pages a year would be a good start. But I think that you want to be able to increase your ability to read in the event that you want to learn to make better decisions. So another little saying that I've heard before is learners are earners. And uh, you can debate about what earning means, whether it's just monetary value or a more fulfilled life or making better decisions. But I think there is something to that, that learners are earners. And the more you learn, the more you earn. And again, you know, you can debate about what you think the earning part is there. So there's a lot of ways that you can read. Um, I think they're all of value. Um, some people like to read for fun, just to escape, you know, a story about, you know, something that they think is entertaining. Um, some people like to read to learn which is sometimes things that you have to do. You know, I, I don't know, maybe you're at a spot where you're older and you've got to file your taxes or you're wondering if this new tax plan that you should uh, increase your pre-tax contributions to lower your adjusted gross income. Like sometimes you have to figure out that stuff on your own. And uh, I understand that you can talk to other people. And I think reaching out and networking is a great way to learn and gather information. But you want that to be like one piece of your evidence or one pillar for your decision making. You don't want to find yourself in a uh, corner and all of a sudden it's like, well, a guy told me. You know, you want to have a defensible uh, position where <laughs> you can always kind of say, look, I made this decision because of this and this and this. Uh, if you would watch a YouTube video and that's what you made your sole decision off of and someone says, well, how'd you arrive at that decision? And your response is, a guy on YouTube told me. That doesn't really sound very credible. Not knocking YouTube. I love it. You know, if you want to learn how to change the spark plug on your lawnmower and you can watch someone do that, it's fantastic. And I think it's a great place to jump off and gather information. So I'm not discounting that. I'm just saying sometimes you need to just do the work and get some reading done. And again, it could be for pleasure, just for something that's fun. It could be uh, to learn something. You know, maybe it's about a moment in history or how you want to do something or a topic that you're just interested in that you'd rather understand a bit more solidly. Uh, all those things are great for learning. Um, sometimes you just have to follow instructions when you're reading. You know, if we've got like a lab that's a step-by-step -step procedure. Um, if you're putting together a piece of furniture, you might have to learn how to follow something in a step-by-step -step nature. There's just a lot of different ways that you could learn um, from reading and, you know, from other sources as well. So I know some people are going to say, yeah, I actually make all my decisions off my gut. And I'm not trying to knock that because I understand sometimes you get a premonition in your gut and it tells you to do something and maybe you should stick with it. But just for a split second here. Your gut is designed to digest food. Your brain is designed to help you make better decisions. So let's not just base them all off our gut and make sure that we're trying to get some information up here in our heads. So here's something that I want you to do. We're going to do a timed stamina reading. And I want you to pick something that you're interested in. Think of a topic. I, I don't care if you love playing Roblox or, uh, you know, you you into dirt bikes or basketball or uh, whatever. Pick a topic that you're interested in, Google it, 
find an article that you think would be interesting for you to read. And then before you start, I want you to have a timer on you know, your phone or a stopwatch or up on your computer or wherever it may be. And when you're ready to start reading, start your timer. And I want you to read until your attention drifts off and you catch yourself like, oh boy, I just spaced out. And I want you to write that time down for your question answer. And this isn't about critiquing where you should be or where you shouldn't be. It's about making improvement. And whatever your number is, the next time you read something, whether it be for fun or my class, uh, I want you to try to push yourself 10%. So let's say you could read for one minute. I would like you to be able to do better than that. And I'm not knocking you if that's where you're at. If you're one minute and you find that your brain starts to wander, okay, well, that is what it is. Let's make improvements. So 10% of one minute or 60 seconds means I just want you to push for another six seconds next time. I think that's doable. Say you could read for 10 minutes, okay? Next time I want you to push for 10% more. I want you to read for 11 minutes. So again, pick something that interests you, not that I'm assigning you to read. Set your timer, see how far you can get. We'll use that as your baseline, and we're going to try to make improvements. If you've got questions or concerns, reach out, and happy reading.